the International Space Station's Expedition 23 and 24 crews will greet three of the last four scheduled space shuttle missions and help usher in a new era of laboratory research on orbit. But even without all that activity, Commander Oleg Kotov recognizes that daily life for a station crew member has changed a lot in the three years since he was a flight engineer on a three-person Expedition 15 crew. And I'd like to say that there is a big difference between three and six men crew. It's not just multiplied by two, it's a totally different lifestyle. It's a totally different configuration for communication with Earth, with our joint life on the station, and I would like to make my contribution. Kotov's crew will be devoting more time to operations in the station's several laboratory modules. Not only will they gather data to learn about how people can live and work in microgravity, they'll work to advance research in traditional disciplines, like plant growth, and in some newer ones. And also a nanostructure uh, experiment that we will use for the uh, uh, manufacturing the uh, semiconductor. And also uh, we will grow the, the plants inside the gem to see how it actually grows in zero gravity. But the crew is trained to work with visiting space shuttle crews too, and to make the most of the time available, such as when mission STS-131 arrives with a multi-purpose logistics module filled with cargo for the station. And that comes into uh, large discussions about how to do the logis logistics transfers both on the station as well as off of station um, as efficiently as possible. And people have been coaching us in the office that it's actually possible, if you do it right, to carry four bags at a time, two bags between your legs, one bag under each arm, and hopefully you don't bump into things too hard when you, when you go do that, in order to help assist the, the shuttle crews to get their mission done. The station crew expects to greet Atlantis on its last planned flight in late spring when it delivers another new component of the Russian segment of the station, Mini Research Module 1, named Rosvet, Russian for sunrise, will provide another docking port for Russian vehicles. And we will have extra volume added to the Russian segment. It will increase the volume on the station. It can be used for storage, and also it will have some hardware for experiments. And it will be the shuttle crew, crew that will be uh, performing the grappling of the module to use the shuttle arm, and then it, the module will be handed over to the uh, Canada arm to be berthed to the station on the Nader docking port of the Zarya module. Shortly after Atlantis departs, so too will Kotov, Noguchi, and Kremer, leaving Skvortsov as commander of Expedition 24. His crew of Kornienko and Tracy Caldwell Dyson will be augmented two weeks later with the arrival of Soyuz commander Fyodor Yurchikin and flight engineers Doug Wheelock and Shannon Walker. Expedition 24 turns its attention to station maintenance and assembly with two spacewalks in July. First, Dyson and Wheelock conduct a U.S. spacewalk to install a power data and grapple fixture on Zarya, so Canadarm2 can be based there and perform tasks on the Russian segment of the station. Dyson's excited about making her first spacewalk and getting a close look at the station components she's been studying so carefully for years. And then there's the whole topic of the, the Earth going by. That's, I don't know if that's going to be breathtaking or, or, or tripping me out, but I am really looking forward to, to seeing that and experiencing that. Later in the month, Kornienko and Yurchikin make an EVA in Russian suits to make the final external connections of MRM-1 to the Russian segment. At the end of the month, Expedition 24 expects to greet Endeavour on its last flight which delivers and installs the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, this state-of-the-art particle physics detector to be attached to the zenith side of the station's starboard truss, will search for the sources of antimatter, dark matter, and dark energy for researchers trying to obtain a clearer understanding of the origins of the universe. Skvortsov, Dyson, and Kornienko are scheduled to come home only days before the last space shuttle mission arrives, having done their part in International Space Station assembly and opening up the next phase of the station's operations. And I think one of the most important tasks that our crew members will have is 
исследований в космосе, promoting scientific research in space, uh, human space flight program, because I believe that uh, humanity as a whole should strive to achieve loftier goals and try to expand the horizons.